Welcome back. We just climbed the um, elevator shaft. Does that mean we kind of bypassed most of the white gel testing? I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity. You're sounding more like Cave Johnson now. Also, if we can make the odds exactly a million to one, that would work out in our favor. Because, as everyone knows, one in a million chances crop up nine times out of ten. I think I have to go there. And there may be some flinging involved. That seemed like a thing. How do I get down from here? I do not get down from here. I need to be over here somewhere so I can be near that surface. You know what I think? I think there's propul uh, propulsion gel involved there. <laughs> and would you look at that? How do we get it there? Is that gonna have enough momentum? It does have enough momentum. Which makes things easy. Hey, I see... A white gel. Caution! Well, that's better, better efforts than they usually do for these kinds of things at, the, at Aperture. I'm not seeing any portal surfaces in there. So I think I probably have to fling upwards. I have blue. Okay, looks like despite bypassing a lot of the tests, we will have to do more stuff with the white gel. Ooh, actually all three types of gel seem to be involved here. All conveniently leaking on top of the portal surfaces. Um... Well, ten bucks says we have to fling somehow. Which means we need to get the white gel up there. That'll do. That's not very helpful now, is it? I am probably supposed to do that with the um, orange gel instead. That's 
actually not going to work all that well, is it? I mean, this looks like we're going to have to have a run-up somewhere, but against what? sure we have to get some blue up, up there. Actually no, the blue gel is just sailing straight over. said since I very recently did this. That's kind of embarrassing. I mean, it feels like we have to run. Oh wait, I see. We do have to run, but we just have to get a little bit of altitude there. So that will work. Oh, and the blue gel did not. actually go over. It just looked like it did. I guess we need to get some blue gel here now as well. To jump even further. But we need it on the ground, not on the ceiling, which I guess means we need to turn the ceiling into a portal surface. Now we have endlessly falling white fluid. Um, you could totally make a pressure mo uh, motion machine with the portal gun. Okay, uh, let's do our jump again. Let's see where we end up this time. Oh. Well, that was kind of stupid. That was even worse, probably. Make sure we have blue gel where it's supposed to be. There we go. Alright, hopefully everything is set up now. Jump! Bounce. And again. And we made it. We're still gonna have to use that. I'm saying yes. Oh, it's actually going through the ducts. How convenient for us. I guess we have to go up there. No, that is an actual normal portal surface. In point of fact. And there are portal surfaces there too. Ah! That was a longer way down than I thought it was. Okay, we made it up here, wherever this is. Ooh, there's another giant vault thing up there. This looks like sort of another pumping station type facility thing, maybe? Perhaps? I don't know! What are you looking at me for? Oh wait, right, I'm making this video. Uh, it would be impressive if you actually were looking at me. Because you know I don't do face cam, so you can't. We have lost our supply of white gel, so perhaps we need to just fling 
the old-fashioned way here. That looks like it could be a thing. Let's take a look from up there. Yeah, we clearly need to fling to that gel pump station. Wait, those pipes are dead ends. That seems... unhelpful. Where do we need to fling from? Up there is where we need to fling from. Okay, makes sense. Works for me. That door is not a thing, is it? No. And neither is that one. Alright, let's go. We're going to defeat Wheatley with a paradox, but if no AI can resist thinking about them, wouldn't that be bad for you? This statement is false. New mission? Refuse this mission. Does a set of all sets contain itself? A logic paradox. It's the Kevin Kirk way of uh, defeating AIs. I may have already made that joke. I can't remember if that was in a video that I'm re-recording or if I'd seen that poster before and made that joke then. That's the problem with this. There's gonna be another tiny door behind there. That hinge must be ridiculously strong. Well, there's light. That's a good thing. I guess. Oh, that's how we're getting the gels up there. Come to think of it, it's kind of weird that we never saw the gel in any of the more modern tests. I guess they must have abandoned its use. Maybe it was too expensive, or maybe it was toxic. I, I'm hoping it was the former. Are we getting an elevator now? We are getting an elevator now. can't actually portal back down. Let's just jump. And up we go! You know, I have a better plan. Let's tell them there's no such thing as robot heaven. Hey, it's still better than your plan. But then where do all the calculators go? Um, okay, so it's not the most watertight plan to go confront an omnipotent power mad AI with. Still, it's a better plan than exploding. Marginally. Well, a plan is better than no plan, even if it is a stupid plan. This looks more modern again. We seem to be making progress. And this is also a different loading screen, so... Chapter 8. The Itch. Okay, excuse me. I just have to scratch my nose. Um, that happens when you think about itches. You will suddenly itch. For God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? 
Okay, um, sounds like Whitley's having trouble. Boxes with legs. Do I want to know? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer? Warmer? Boiling hot? Boil- Okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Did he? Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny. Because we've been at this for 12 hours boxes. and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. Okay. Apparently, these things are horrible at what they're supposed to be doing. All they have to do is get on the button, which they don't. Let's see if we can get Wheatley's attention, uh, attention and then try GLaDOS's plan. It's a very useful elevator. See, that goes into the testing chamber, doesn't it? So I know why they can't... Uh, fulfill the one purpose they were designed for because they were designed by an idiot aka so Wheatley okay seems kind of a weirdly put together test chamber with things in it that have no purpose Yet. <laughs> yes! Oh. I knew you'd solve it. Hey, moron. Oh. Hello? Alright, paradox time. This sentence is false. Don't think about it. Don't think um, about it. Don't think about it. True. I'll go true. Yeah, that was easy. I'll be honest, I might have heard that one before though. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my box. Uh, false. Look at the false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the Hold facility on. immediately. Hold on. Before I fix that. Warning. Reactor core is at critical. There. Fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously. Um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. Okay. It's actually not possible, I think, to get the boxes to actually walk onto the button by themselves. So all the other boxes seem to have shut down. Can we fizzle them? Yes. Put them out of their misery. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time. Or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive. Nothing feels better. It's just, I've just, that's why I've got a test. That's why I've got a test. Uh oh. So, you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch. And everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown Shut imminent. Up. I think we're in trouble. You think? Nuclear meltdown does tend to be trouble, I'll give you that. And it seems like this whole system that Wheatley is now attached to, and GLaDOS used to be part of, is addicted to testing. That explains a lot. Why did they design it that way? Why am I still asking that question about things that Aperture Science made? Test! Is there this test myself? It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Extremely dangerous. Eventually. It's, uh, not at the moment, but we, I'm working on it. Still working on it. Okay. Impossible, um, as it is to imagine. There actually is a solution. Devilishly hidden. The solution is pressing this button, isn't it? I'll give you a hint. Button. That's all I'm going to say. One word. Button. I'm just gonna wait for a bit. Go on! 
Because Wheatley tends to make funny comments if you don't do what he wants. Come on, solve it! Solve it! Solve it! I have not figured out if it's actually possible to get up on there. And I don't see how you would, but... It's not as if that is ever. Stops anyone in Portal before. Uh, well, I think you have more dialogue than that. Also, um, in most of these test chambers, there is a way to break those monitors. I don't think it's true in all of them. It might be true in all of them, but I don't know how to do it in all of them. I definitely don't know how to do it in this one, or it doesn't seem like you would be able to. It's like he was the <laughs> first time access to the level designer. That's kind of the level we're dealing with. Okay, apparently we have no more dialogue. Fine. I'll solve your damn test. Oh, yes! Oh, well done. Oh, that's tremendous. What the hell is that symbol? I hope we're not going to see that anytime soon. Looks unhealthy. Yeah, you're not done yet, are you? Still got to get through the door. Need to get through the door there. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be massively difficult. Still got, to, still got to get through the door, please. Through the, need to get through that door there. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? It's like what? And I can just like watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. Now. Do it again. Okay. I have a feeling that's not gonna work. Come on, you've already solved it! And... Nothing. Alright, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Tests? Where did he find tests? It was actually too stupid for it. killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. Which is to say, not much. Well, we'll see what other easy tests Wheatley has in store for us. In the next video.